coming across the chest, see that? Right there. And that hand signal there. Yeah, the good old hand across the chest. So we got the white uh, vehicles there. Let's take a look at how many uh, white vehicles we got today. Just trying to move. Two SUVs over there. Um, uh, okay, one, two, two cars there, a white truck, two more white cars there. So what do we got? Just over there alone, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, in that plaza. Now at this really early hour. Now a lot of these I believe are issued to these people. Um, Because you're not going to have them go out and buy that out of their own pocket, right? They wouldn't do it. So, they get it. It's probably on loan. I suspect it's some sort of thing where they get it on loan, like a... Um, provided that they do these things or whatever. That's most likely the case. How well, much time we have still? Uh, five minutes still? Come on, man. Five minutes still. I'll walk up here. Got a little bit more time to kill. Let's go. Six minutes. <sighs> another white truck over there, another white car on this side here. And then another white car coming in the left lane down there. No lights on that car there at all. No headlights on. Uh, it's against the law to be driving that way, but that's okay here. I guess it's allowed. Uh, there's another white vehicle there. See that? And we got the white truck here, and then the other white truck directly up ahead. Might possibly be starting to recognize a, a pattern at this point here. Just maybe. More white there. White vehicle there, white there, and white there. Three consecutive there. Two here, seven in the plaza over there. Must be a coincidence, I'm sure. Yeah, they switch it between, alternate between uh, white and red at various times, but right now they're going a lot more with white uh, as opposed to the red. I've never really walked on this road. Let's take a look. Yeah, what do you know? Went out right as I arrived. Funny how that's timed up. Huh? Um, yeah, so right now a lot of white cars. You're going to see how many we got. Yeah, you've got to also think of it like this. They're not going to have people go out and buy those vehicles, right? If they're using these people in the operation and they want them to have a specific color, it's going to be... I think it's given to them on loan, to be quite honest. There's white there, another white one there. And then another one up there, up ahead there. See? All white cars here. White car there. Well, not all, but 90% what you're seeing here. Another one there. Another one there. Another rough truck. There. How many is that? <laughs> Just this matter of minutes. Yeah, another one there. Another white truck coming right here. And turn it in right here. Just as I'm coming down too. Yeah. So. 
that's what they're going with is the white right now. I know I'm recording too, so it's camouflage there. So I think cough coming up there. Camouflage again. Coincidence, I'm sure. That, like, that is a fake off too. You can hear that. And, uh, another one with the camouflage pants. <laughs> Creep. So there's four security guards all lingering in one area straight ahead here. But they're not at the same spot as they often are. However, this is the way they know I, I come through. So see, she's looking now. She's looking back. Yeah, so four of them all standing in one spot. Now they're going to turn and come this way. Watch, watch, watch. Watch, watch. Now turn and coming this way. Watch, get my phone out. Now they waited, they waited to the moment I got up here, and they all four of them turned. You can see. Now they're pretending to make it nonchalant, but the moment I got up here, they were standing right there. All four of them turned. Okay, I got footage there and footage there. Good. Another fake cough from the guy with the camouflage there. Yeah, you can see that they were they were, they were standing like right here, four of them. Oh, that's right there. And the moment they see me coming through, now when you do a patrol as a security guard in a mall, you're not going to have all four people in one spot unless there's a problem, right? A serious problem. So you can see how they waited literally till I got to the corner there. And right as I came, they, the one girl looked over, they saw me coming, and then they uh, went. So. Let's see what we have this morning, if anything. It's been relatively quiet here lately, at least on this street here where I live. Up there, it's another story. As soon as you come up there, it goes back to what it was, so. Uh, I'll see this morning what's going on here. So, yeah, this car was parked here uh, yesterday as well. Around the same time, in front of the, uh, the place where I live here. I want to turn it, because so, I don't want to... right now so this is right that's the time oh, I can't break <laughs> uh, that's funny see that that's the other tenant that lives here Oh, it's down here now, okay. I'm gonna drop the other side of the street, or I think it's... 
up up on that side. It's weird. The timing on that fake cough there. <laughs> oh, what a creep. As soon as I get there, fake cough. Yeah. The timing on that fake cough there. <laughs> oh, what a creep. As soon as I get there, fake cough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's security set up there. Okay, check it out. Right as I come in. See, right ahead there. Each time I enter, they're always set up right here, or, well, or right in front of me. Is that coming? So you got two of them here. Let's get them on camera. Making it look casual. <laughs> Excuse me. Is your uh, is your supervisor around anywhere here? No. No? You don't have a supervisor? We do, but uh, he's not right here. Well, is uh, he is he on site right now? Yeah. Okay. Can I speak to him? I'm a security guard myself. I'd like to speak to him. Uh, he's not here right now. He. You just said he's on site. Uh, I said yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to speak to him. Sure. So how do I go about doing that? Please call him. Yes, of course. Give me one second here. It's right there. I pass through here like every day. I'm actually just coming from work as a security guard. The reason I want want to speak to him, maybe you can clear this up for me. Um, I'm not. Oh, oh you call him. Sorry. Um, every time I come in, mm -hmm. I have security guards. Kind of, it makes me uncomfortable because I'm a guard myself, right? You know this as well as I do. If if you have a criminal record, you can't get a security license. So it just seems to me like you're being told something about me, something negative that you have to come every time I enter. I know you're not going to admit to that. I'm just telling you from my perspective, it may, like you're kind of smiling. I don't know why. It makes me feel uncomfortable, right? And, and I, I know you're going to say it's coincidental, but it's every time I enter. And it's in different areas. Like when I came yesterday, I came from down there. And then I came up to the food court. There were four guards there, right? So you know when you're working in a mall, you don't typically have all four guards. You split up to do patrols. I know that. I've been working nine years as a, as a security guard. So that's why I want to speak to your supervisors to find out why that's going on. Because it makes me uncomfortable. And it shouldn't happen every day. Like, let me tell you why I'm coming here, okay? I come from my job. I pass through here simply to go to the bus stop. So would that make you feel uncomfortable if every day you're coming in and you're a security guard, it makes me feel like something's been said about me. Some type of lie or something, right? And I know you can't admit that if that's the case. I just want to say, it makes me uncomfortable. So, and I'm not, I'm not blaming you for it, right? I, I know if it's something, maybe something was said to you, you can't admit that, right? But I'm just telling you, I'm a guard myself. Okay, so let me just tell you, from my perspective, I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm just passing through here. I'm not... You can see I'm a guard. I'm not here to cause any problems, so I just want you to know it makes me feel uncomfortable. And it shouldn't happen every day. Because I'm coming from different... I know you do patrols, right? 
No, but you're not though. That's the thing, man. Like your other days. Not not you. I'm not saying you. Oh, sorry, yes, that's right. Yeah, things who are patrolling all the time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you. Yesterday, I gotta go soon because I gotta get the bus. Again, I'm not blaming you guys for anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yesterday, right? What happened was I go up to the food court there. The moment I I come into view of the guards, all four guards are there. The one guard looks over, sees me, and all four come toward me. Now, they never come towards me. I I have I have video footage of it. No, oh, yeah, I get you. So so. so they did do that. No, no, no. They so, so what I'm saying. No, no, I'm not saying they followed. What they did was, I'm okay. So I'm coming up here, right? They're positioned in the food court. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. They, they didn't follow me per se, right? But what I'm saying is, I'm going towards her. She looked right at me as soon as I came, and they all came towards me. Now this has been happening for like two weeks. I emailed Cancom about it and said, listen, I'm a security guard, I have nine, I, I'm actually, I was a supervisor in-house for three years in Toronto. Sorry, that so, that like, I, with you, yeah, I'm just trying to explain, I yeah. hope it's not going to be every day, right? Because I'm, you, you understand, you wouldn't feel comfortable in that situation yeah, either. Yeah. And I'm just telling you, I'm not, you know, you, know, you can't get a license if you're a criminal, right? So, I'm, there's, I've done nothing wrong, I should be able to pass through there. Yeah. And you, I'm not saying you're bothering me or anything, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Right. Okay, so, uh, okay, so thank you guys. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. It's okay. Dang it, but someone's telling them to do it every time I come in to be positioned where I'm going to enter because I was in a different area from when I entered yesterday. And, uh, all four of them sort of came towards me the moment the, the girl saw me yesterday. Uh, so we'll see what transpires next week. Yeah, that was in a different location and they're positioned right by there. And he's trying to say we have to split up to do the patrol. I know that, obviously, but you're not always going to end up where I am. And also, yesterday they had all four of them in one area. They waited till I came. See the video footage. She's saying, no, they wouldn't do that. I said, I have it on video, okay? Um, they did do that. And the moment they saw me, they started walking directly toward me. So I had the footage of that as well. So. Yeah, I could have waited and spoken to the supervisor. I think they probably gave him, would have something for him to say to deny it, but... And of course, naturally, that's what you would have them do. You'd have them split up. And if you have four guards, they're going to be in different areas of the mall, naturally. Yesterday, they had all four of them in the exact area where they knew I was going to come through. And then right as they, the girl looked, she saw me, and then immediately all four of them started moving down towards me. And again, obviously done to send a message. And it, that's not going to happen that frequently if it, uh, if it were random. So... As well, it's well known that in these operations they approach security guards to take part in them, but the thing is, I don't know if those people were told that I'm actually a security guard. I bet they weren't. I'm pretty sure they weren't. I mean, I know they were told some type of slander and lies or whatever, that I'm a criminal or something like that, but anyway, we'll see what happens next week.
yesterday. They got somebody standing here with a phone at the side. Yesterday when, I, yesterday when I came in the store, they had a guy positioned in the same place, standing there on a phone. Today again, he just stands there on the phone, waits till I get done at the cash, and then takes off. Yeah, it's just another thing they do to kind of, you know, let you know you're on watch, etc. Yeah, because yesterday, so today I come up there, they got a guy with a man standing there just on a phone. Uh, not going into the store, just lingering outside. And then yesterday they had another guy doing the same thing when I arrived. And here you got some camouflage across the street here. Uh, and, just, and that guy there left right as I got done at the cash. So he was just standing there when I arrived on a phone, uh, not going in to buy anything or whatever, just lingering there. And then as soon as I come up and get finished at the cash, get prepared to leave, he walks away from outside. So be clear there.